We're going to demonstrate in this video how build a clone foundry ops matrix can be used together with any JMX monitoring tool to report platform capacity usage and scale on demand. This example uses VM or Hyperic, but the same can be applied to other JMX tools with proper configuration. So the Hyperic plugin automatically discovers a Pivotal CF server and we'll add that to our inventory. Next, we're going to navigate to the resource we just add, detail it, and click on Tools menu, Configure Server. At this point, all we need to provide is the IP address for Ops Matrix. So we're going to navigate to Operations Manager, Detail Ops Matrix, and click on the Status tab. We'll copy the IP address being used by the Ops Matrix JMX provider and use it to form our JMAX connection URL for Hyperic. We'll click OK and Hyperic should auto discover the Cloud Foundry components for us. At this point, we have configured the Hyperic plugin to connect to Ops Matrix to gather CF monitoring data. It auto discover the Cloud Foundry services and add them to our inventory automatically. Now checking the monitor tab, we're seeing the CF component scoper. So let's check the DA, configure the plugin for getting the metric data at each one minute for it. Now clicking back the DAs, we can see the charts already there. So let's select the first DA Scroll the metrics down to the memory usage percentage and save that chart to our dashboard. Next, we're going to create a new alert calling it memory usage DA0 above threshold. Say that it should trigger every time memory usage goes beyond 40% and save it. Now we already have an alert, we must define what to do when it triggers. As part of the alert actions, we choose to notify users. We're going to select them all and save it. We could also notify people through email, call a script, or send an SNMP trap. As our alert is already active and actions defined, let's check back the dashboard to see our memory usage, which is around 33%. Now let's scale an application to put pressure on the DEA. You can see we currently have five running instances of our app. So let's add this and make it 10. We're going to save, and now we have 10 instances running. So let's check what happened to our DA. As you can see, now the memory usage is around 36%, which seems not to be enough to trigger our alert which was on 40. So let's quickly scale the application a little bit more. This time, we'll make it 20 instances instead. Save it, and let's check our DA usage again. This time the memory usage is past 40%, what should have triggered our alert. So let's get back to the dashboard, check the chart, and now see we actually received an alert. Great, this would likely be an indication to scale our platform. So let's use operations manager for it. Let's detail the last runtime, click on resource sizes and provision two additional DEAs. Save it and apply changes. It will take a few minutes to operations manager to provision two additional DEAs. When it's done, let's return to our dashboard. The memory user chart has not changed yet, but let's clear those alerts
and check the updated inventory. Let's detail the DEA and see that now we have two additional ones, four of them. As you can see, Ops Metrics notified Hyperic of the new provision components and we are already receiving monitoring data for them. Also note how the CPU usage of each DEA decreased as we distributed the load. As you could see in this video, the Ops Metrics JMX interface can be used to provide dynamic monitoring data to JMX enabled tools such as Hyperic. Based on its KPIs, one can easily set alerts and scale the platform on demand.